Welcome to the Market Report from the Birch Gold Group. Hi, I'm Mark Allen. During this show, we're going to be talking uh, about could gold go to $10,000, maybe even more. Uh, We'll have somewhat of a friendly debate between Vince Miller, Senior Market Strategist from the Birch Gold Group, and Will Hart, also from the Birch Gold Group. There have been a lot of quotes lately. Uh, we've, we've actually interviewed Peter Schiff, who says gold is going to go to 5000 And we have that interview on our website. You can listen to it. Uh, Jim uh, Rickards has said gold will go to seven to 9000 James Turk says gold is going to go to $10,000 an ounce. Vince, do you think gold is going to go that high? That's a very prolific question. And, of course, the answer is, uh, you know, it's a big question mark. Um, I would say, could gold go that high? Of course. I mean, when gold was $150 an ounce, nobody thought it would go to $500. And, uh, I remember when gold was $400 an ounce back in 2005, and nobody would think it would go to 1000 And And, uh, you know, guys like Jim Sinclair comes out, uh, and he thinks gold's going to go to $50,000 an ounce. Uh, you know, in the coming years by 2020. Uh, you know, and Jim Sinclair, by the way, has an excellent track record in terms of calling the gold. He knows this stuff when it comes to gold. Um, you know, he believes that Cyprus is the blueprint for other countries, including the United States, to, um, you know, confiscate people's retirement accounts where, uh, Basically, there was a total of about an 83% decline in their economy. Jim Sinclair, basically, this is a guy who predicted that gold prices, when they were about 350 an ounce, he said that gold would trade by January 2011, 1650 an ounce. Uh, he predicted in 1974, when gold was $159 an ounce, Sinclair predicted that gold would top out around 900 an ounce in the a, uh, 1980 and hit 887.50. He's pretty accurate. Yeah, he, he's been he's been pretty spot on, and now he's going on to say, uh, you know, by 2016, gold can go to over 3,000 an ounce, and by uh, 2020, gold could be. Um, relatively $50,000 an ounce. Now, that being said, um, look, I don't have a crystal ball. Do I think it could happen? I mean, anything is possible, but I would like to think that it wouldn't. I honestly would like to think that gold would never hit $5,000 an ounce, Mark. Um, It would be good for gold only. It wouldn't be good for anybody else. It wouldn't be good for you. It wouldn't really be good for me. Uh, things would be very expensive. Your dollar, which you're still going to need, because you're still going to have to buy stuff. So you're going to need wheelbarrows to, to create the dollars in. Yeah. I mean, what's that Bible verse that says that, uh, you know, in the end times, a loaf of bread would buy a bag of gold, and so or vice versa. So uh, a bag of gold would buy a loaf of bread. And it becomes one of those, uh, you know, very daunting questions. Would gold go to 5,000? Yeah, it could. Um, The government seems to have a printing press at their disposal. Um, They tend to print money at whim. Uh, I hope that it doesn't go to 5,000. Let's go to Will, because I have a feeling you you somewhat disagree with Vince. Well, again, uh, I know everybody's speculating. Everybody's trying to throw out their guesses of what they think's happening. I really believe that gold's going to continue to keep climbing steadily. I think, as we, uh, as uh, as I mentioned in previous shows, uh, I believe that uh, the fiat currencies are on the way out. I think we're going to go back to some sort of a gold standard. And if that does in fact happen, well, then you can only imagine the value of an ounce of gold because the population, of course, on the Earth is a lot bigger than it was a hundred years ago. Uh, That being said, uh, everybody has to have cash. They have to have some sort of form of currency to go in and buy their gallon of milk or pay their gas. And so if we have a gold-backed system, well, there's only so much gold out there. So it's not like, you know, it's not like we're turning salt water into gold. So the, the, (laughs) the, the, the little bit of gold that's out there has to then be kind of divvied up amongst all the paper currency that would then be kind of that gold's backing it. So... 10,000 ounce is very plausible and and even higher if you're basing it on possibly a global currency that's backed by gold. Well, then the, the little bit of gold that's out there, and I'm talking about the size of a football field, you know, it's not a lot of gold. What would happen to the economy if the gold does go to 
five or even ten thousand dollars an ounce well that's a great question mark well first of all uh the u.s and western economies would all face insolvency uh instantly simultaneously uh i think that the entire western industrial commercial credit economy would just instantly fall apart uh, so fast that it would make your head spin. I think the supply chain would stop and stores would really uh, empty quickly. Uh, I think um, possibly the U.S. dollar would fall probably by 50% in maybe a week's time or, or you know, oh or, or, or less. I mean, it, it, it would be catastrophic. Uh, I, I think that uh, there would be worldwide panic, uh, worldwide currency panic would set in. China would have probably a revolution. I mean, the Asian countries would fare horribly in a, in a situation like that. And, and it's interesting. We, we saw uh, a taste of what this could be like uh, back in May uh, in 2012 when there was a run on the Greek banks when everybody thought that the euro was going to crash. Um, you know, in one day, Greeks withdrew uh, $895 million uh, out of euros. And at that time, I remember gold and silver obviously shot up through the roof. But that was just one day, and stock markets were tumbling all over the world. Um, and a lot of it is because we're all so heavily tied into each other. So it would We have a world economy, not necessarily a, a U.S. economy, a China economy. We have a world economy. Right. I mean, we have the small economies, of course, the individual country economies, but we do have a global economy. Absolutely. We're all tied together. What happens here is affected over in Europe and in Asia. When something Go happens over there, we're seeing the implications here. It's the butterfly effect. Absolutely. We are all tied together. So uh, again, if if there was to be some sort of a revaluation or ex to change of some sort of currency, I think it's not necessarily maybe kind of the way Vince was putting it, you know, where we're seeing fires in the streets. I think it'll be a little more orderly in the sense that, again, kind of what I've mentioned before uh, in previous shows <laughs> is that... Uh, you know, Germany, you know, when their rice mark went belly up and they turned in 10 rice mark to get one Deutsche mark, uh, you know, it was you go to your bank and you turn it in and you're like, yeah, I just lost 90% of the value of my portfolio. Darn it. If I knew this the day before, I would have went out and bought a whole bunch of gold with it. But, you know, a little too late. The good news our listeners have now is it's a lot more readily available to see what's happening in the news to kind of say, uh oh, I see that we're heading for an iceberg. I better start making some preparation. So Will, you're basically saying that I've converted you, changed your mind, and now you agree with me, finally. <laughs> well, <laughs> somewhat. You agreed with so, me right so, now. Somewhat, because somewhat. You said you disagreed with me, and now well, you're actually agreeing well, with me. I'm but, just letting you know. Well, that. again, I, I, you know, if you're saying that uh, there's, you know, kind of what you were, what you were mentioning as far as other countries, and you know, yeah. kind of what took place in Cyprus, and and the and the panics that took place, yeah, if. But again, you don't want to wait till the last second to make a move into gold or, you know, and, and do something with your paper or your retirement dollars. At that point, when the ships half sink underwater, getting a seat on a lifeboat may not be as readily available as you may be hoped. Let me wrap up by, by asking you both a last question. Merrill Lynch forecasts a 1294 average with a rise uh, to 1350 by the year end. That's 2014 for gold per ounce. Uh, it says gold will underperform silver, but that gold could trade as high as $2,000 an ounce by 2016. That's much more moderate point of view. Sure. Will. I think that's conservative. I think that uh, I think the uh, the first forecast, I think 1350 by year end, I think that's absolutely uh, uh, on track. Uh, I think that saying oh, 2000 uh, in what is it, two more years from now? Right. I think that is, I think it's going to be higher than that. I think that's a conservative estimate. Uh, based upon what I'm what I'm reading and what I'm seeing out there, uh, people are waking up. They realize, and I'm talking about billionaires, I'm talking about countries stockpiling gold. You know, again, there's only so much out there. So if everybody has it uh, and no one's letting it go, as supply becomes an issue, demand is growing, I'm going to think that price is going to be higher. You know, interesting. I was just reading an uh, I was just reading something, and it said that an estimated only two percent of uh, American citizens actually own uh, investment grade gold in their home. Oh wow! Yeah. So now's the time for people to consider adding this to their portfolio. 
not necessarily to make money, but to preserve the wealth they currently have. Correct. Yeah, you got to go where the smart money goes. I mean, countries and billionaires are doing it. Why isn't it good enough for you? And it's easy to do. Extremely. All right. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here on the Market Report. If you have a question about buying gold, if you have a question for us here on the Market Report, you can ask it by writing us an email, sending an email to info at birchgold.com, info at birchgold.com. You can also check out all the information we have at birchgold.com birchgold.com lots of information lots of articles different points of view on gold where it is where it's going and of course you can also call to speak to one of our gold specialists by calling 800-355-2116 that's 800-355-2116 gentlemen again thank you for joining us will hart and vince miller senior market strategist from the birch gold group For the Market Report, I'm Mark Allen. We'll see you on the next episode.